Faith comes by hearing, and hearing the Word of God. You're listening to The Moment of Power with Azano Eddie Thompson. Daily audio devotions to energize your day, presented by the Advent Hero Ministries. Our Moment of Power topic today is Power of Faith Declarations Part 18. I shall be made whole. For she said with him herself, If I may touch his garment, I shall be whole. Matthew 9.21 She was weak and frail. She was also ritually unclean according to the Levitical statutes. She had become poor and as a result of her constant trips to see the physicians and buy their remedies. The physicians eventually pronounced her incurable, but her hopes revived when she heard of Jesus and the healings, the cures of mercy that Jesus was giving to those who come to him. But she was too weak to contend with the crowd. To approach Jesus directly seemed an impossibility. She had been following him for a while and it seems her opportunity, her golden chance of healing was forever slipping through her fingers. Then she made up her mind that even if she could not stop Jesus to make her complaints to him about her situation, she would just touch his garment. She believed that she would receive her healing from the power of Christ if she does that. As she made an attempt to press through the crowd, he seemed to make his way near her and this became the golden opportunity. She stretched forth her hand and could but barely touch the hem of his garment. All of a sudden, her weakness gave way to strength. She could feel that the flow of the hemorrhage for 12 years had stopped. She wanted to secretly go away to try her newfound powers when she heard Jesus ask, Who touched my clothes? Before the woman could come up to acknowledge the miracle that had happened to her, Jesus was being reasoned with by Peter that his question was not making sense. Then the woman came out and told the story and pronounced that she was the one that touched Jesus and she was the one that has received power, virtue from him that has healed her. She told the whole story from how it started 12 years before. Then Jesus pronounced upon her peace and permanent wholeness. There is a spiritual lesson from this story that we can learn, apart from the fact that it confirms that faith comes by hearing, and if we exercise our faith in Christ, it will not be in vain. In Ministry of Healing, page 62, Mrs. White wrote, quote, To the curious crowd pressing about Jesus, there was imparted no vital power. But the suffering woman who touched him by faith received healing. So in spiritual things, does the casual contact differ from the touch of faith. To believe in Christ merely as the Savior of the world can never bring healing to the soul. The faith that is unto salvation is not a mere assent to the truth of the gospel. True faith is that which receives Christ as a personal Savior. Unquote. What is your attitude towards spiritual things? 
do you just go through the forms and rounds and routine of religion or to put it in the words of Paul, do you just have a form of godliness without having faith enough to experience the power of the healing of the soul, the power of a changed life? Have you, like the rest of the people in the crowd, pressing on and touching Jesus without a purpose and faith? Are you just going through religion in that manner? When the woman with the issue of blood touched Christ, it was a moment of power. For she has concentrated all her faith in that one touch. May God help you to believe unto salvation today as your faith would reach out to Christ in Jesus' name. Amen.